been to Lithuania a number of times. We've had a partnership with them for almost 10 years. It's been great to see this lovely country and to visit their churches, to meet their people and to have the opportunity of preaching, obviously always through an interpreter. I've preached too in, in two of their prisons. It's been great to be welcomed into their homes, to hear their stories, to share our faith together, to meet with their pastors and to help them in their thinking. And also to hear their pain, a pain that goes back to momentous events of last century, but also to know their hope and that they look to a brighter future. Hi everyone. The thing that really encourages me most about um, Lithuania is how open the people are to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The children at the holiday clubs we helped in, and especially the young lady who we met after reversing into her car. It was amazing to see the Holy Spirit at work that day in Lithuania and using us to share God's word and love. Thank you for the opportunity just to share a little bit of my experiences of Lithuania. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful place as you can see from these photographs. It's also a place of welcome and great hospitality. The churches are very loving and caring communities and a joy just to work with. If you ever get a chance to visit Lithuania, we would definitely recommend that you do. I've visited Lithuania four times, leading different teams. Every time has been fantastic, memorable, great privilege been involved in youth ministry, children's ministry, ministry to uh, churches, Bible schools, uh, lots of great memories, fantastic hospitality, including meals at midnight when we were already stuffed full and we couldn't eat anymore. The famous uh, cold beetroot soup, the pink soup, uh, which I actually find is really good. And uh, uh, a time when we helped a, a broken down car by, just by praying with, with a couple from Latvia who were in distress and stuck at the hill of crosses. Uh, enjoying the culture, just um, great relationships, and I can't wait to go back again. I was able to visit Lithuania with John Clayton at the end of June 2019 in order to be present at a gathering of pastors, leaders and spouses of the eight churches of the Lithuanian Baptist Union and other closely related fellowships. It was moving to see the Baptist national leadership of a nation all squeezed into a single room that could not have held one of our Northern Baptist Assemblies. Following 50 years of oppression, suffered first under the Nazis and then the Communists, they've had three decades to rediscover their freedom. And they're now intently seeking the best way to use that freedom for the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know but I've ever encountered such passion for Jesus.